What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and welcome to Pokemart where we take a look at the Pokemon TCG secondary market. Uh, today's topics will be just the latest craziness with hidden fates, particularly around the Charizard and why now might be a good time to sell and that's pretty rare that I'll even make that statement. And we're also going to look at some potential buyouts that are going on for some of the legend cards during the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. Let's begin. All right, we're going to start with Hidden Fates, and just to give you an idea, we have a lot of topics to cover. You can kind of see how many tabs we have already open, and let's take a look at what's going on on TCG Player. So, Hidden Fates Charizard, last time we looked at it, it was about $420, and so the price has actually gone down a little bit as far as TCG Player. Uh, we are down to $400, and we're going to take a look at Umbreon. That one is surprisingly high with Espeon not too far further. So it does seem like the evolutions have won out. I think back in the day, it was kind of like Cynthia was up there, obviously Charizard, and then Lele, and that's kind of shifted gears to just the evolutions. Let's take a look at Umbreon real quick. Man, near mint, 76. And a while back when we were doing like Hidden Fates dupes, I think we given we gave away a couple of these cards. And right now, super expensive. So we're filtering for just for near mints. Uh, and the cheapest one on TCG Player is for $76. Let's take a look at sold listings on eBay. And if tells a similar story most of these are best offer accepted but down to 70 uh some 85 and all right psa 10 umbreon 200 dollars sounds very high to me all right let's move on to the main card of the set that is of course the shiny charizard uh there's only i think it was eight near mint listings oh no wait maybe there's more uh but the cheapest one is $400 again this is down from 420 since the last episode so it has gone down a little bit but I don't think the PSA prices have really moved let's take a look at eBay if you did want to pick one up right now we're sorting by best match let's go by eh, maybe that's fine all right 500 500 full oh, geez yeah we're in the fives uh, so even if you did want to pick one up right now it seems like it is pretty slim pickings uh, out on eBay as far as being cheaper than TCG player but actually that always seems to be the case so that's not that surprising let's move on to sold listings and now here we're seeing a similar story as far as comparing it to TCG player 415 420 after shipping so eBay is still a little bit higher and again that's usually the case anytime you see something pretty low it's usually like a custom card or something so don't fall for that Ooh, best offer accepted off 400 that's actually crazy that's pretty cheap you know a few months ago it was like two hundred dollars so you i thought it was not a great idea to pick them up then but if you did <laughs> i think you look pretty good all right psa so it's pretty rare that i'll say all right maybe now is a good time to sell but when it comes to people asking me questions like oh is are things in a bubble i don't see how this could not be a bubble and we'll get into uh numbers as far as supply in a second but let's just take a look at how much these are going for best offer accepted won eleven hundred dollars so we're in the thousands at this point 960 975 or psa 10 i'm wanting to see um okay 780 <laughs> crazy 780 for a modern card still uh, if you're lucky, you can still find these in stores as far as the tins go. So, absolutely crazy. And here's the the most mind-boggling part. So, this is PokemonPrice.com, super useful website. Uh, it has picks of the pop reports from PSA. It is not exactly up to date, so I guess we could get a little bit more up-to-date information, but it's less than only four days. Uh, so, <laughs> the ratio between 10 and below is pretty close to 3 to 1. So... All these grades that are 7 or below, like, that probably just shouldn't happen. It's probably pretty obvious just looking at the card. You won't get a 10, and you're kind of, you should know what you're getting into, but people send it in anyway, which is, not that there's a problem. Uh, I feel like even 8 is probably pretty rare unless something happens en route to PSA, or they just did a bad job of grading it. Uh, but even if we include the 8, so then we're looking at, what, 365 to 1,000 10s. Uh, so that is crazy. There's a thousand PSA 10. So I do think now might be a good time to sell. When you think about it, this PSA 10 mark like number will only continue to rise faster than the nines probably. And you know the amount of people that are willing to spend a thousand dollars for this card, 
I'm not sure how many people are out there, but there can only be so many. So I can't see any other scenario of how this will play out. Then the price will go down in the new future. Just to give you an idea of how many PSA 10s that is, let's take a look at the, not the, the not the OG OG, but the base set Charizard. So this, even though this is like a Shadowless First Edition, like this is actually for the unlimited print. And PSA 10 and base unlimited was super high print run like you can still pick up raw copies on this definitely not tens or anything uh, but there's only 400 tens from a card that was from 1999 so now when it comes to this super recent card from 2019 to have a thousand and there's only this number is going to keep going up compared to this one like obviously this is more expensive but my point here is if you look at the ratio between 10 and then 9 it's you know it's one to ten for uh, one ten for every ten nines compared to Hidden Fates, which is a three to one ratio. So, yes, I have to imagine this is a bubble for Hidden Fates Charizard PSA ten. All right, let's move on to sealed products. Uh, so. You know, there was another wave of tins, but those do seem to be drying up as far as getting picking up at MSRP, or especially for less. Uh, Game Nerds is long gone. Uh, occasionally come back for, but it's at MSRP. Every once in a while, Target says they're in stock, but those usually last for like minutes. But I will say like secondary market, if you do pick it up off eBay, it's not too bad sometimes. Like I think once you start getting the 30s, that's pretty that's pretty outrageous. There's like 150% of the price. ETBs, forget about ETBs. I have no idea why people buy these ETBs unless it's, they just want part of their sealed collection. Uh, I hope it's not for opening because that promo is what? Like a $6 card and then you just have 10 packs. Um, but these, yeah, these pin collections, I don't know, the promos weren't that good, the pins are just okay. Uh, again, the tins aren't too outrageous. Um, and we do have our, still have our thing on Patreon if you do wanna uh, crack some on the channel, we'll break it for you at my, what it cost me, which is only $15 per tin. All right, let's go on to just some uh, more recent sets. These will be pretty quick. The main thing here is Charizard breaks in lowest price, 170. That is very surprising. Uh, I think, I don't know, a few months ago, it was like 60. And I have to imagine this is just for collectors. This card is not, it's not that it's bad, but it's not, I haven't seen this really used in any tournaments that I'm aware of. Yet, you know, fetching a price like this has to be just a Charizard effect. Although one interesting thing about this one is that logic doesn't necessarily translate to Unbroken Bonds Reshizard, the first Charizard tag team, uh, which is still about 150 and it is a little bit older. And this one definitely was, you know, selling at like 200. And in fact, I even bid and bought a few of those. Um, and then even the Okay, then we moved to Burning Shadows. This guy was always high, but you know, Burning Shadows is still, maybe, I'm not sure if it's out of print, but there was a lot of product available at like Target and etc. In fact, like I think I picked up some at Amazon for $20 a ETB. So still very much like, you know, there's still a lot of it, but the near mint off TCG player is 351. So definitely just that Charizard effect as far as collectors go. Let's go to Dedene. Um, not too much to discuss here. This is just interesting because this is like, I don't know, there's no events going on. So probably for, it, there's been no real need to buy Dedene's, but like just, <laughs> I'm not sure why anyone would, but definitely do not buy any of these, even for the price of 20, which is still crazy high entirely because of this product. For basically the same price, you can get two of them in about a week or so, uh, like, you know, a little over two weeks away um so yeah if you play competitively you need to dna's pick it up from here I, it seems like this product is still in stock and it has been available quite a long time so it, it must be that they just printed a lot of this and maybe that'll translate to a lot a lot of them being in the store so i think this is the best buy um you know compared to like the peek around box and but based on the fact that the pre order is still available, um, maybe that just means there's going to be so many Dedenes out there that maybe even the secondary market, even when you know, if I feel like this creates a floor for about like ten dollars, um, maybe it'll still be even cheaper on the secondary market just by the fact that this is still available for pre order. 
All right, let's go to Jirachi. Uh, the main thing we're looking for here is how cheap can you pick up Jirachis right now? Not from Team Up, but these deck exclusive ones and three dollars so this seems about right you know when you sell a product for 25 that contains four of these like what an amazing buy and then you know half the value is just from this card alone or you get back half the value even selling at the cheapest on tzg player and i think this is great anytime it makes playing competitive very access accessible to everyone i think that's a huge win in every respect of the every respect and uh but we'll just take a look so how much value is out of those boxes um there's not too many of these codes being sold on ebay like last one was june 3rd may 29th but these are going for 10 actually they're all over the place but there have been instances where you get like again half your money back from that box just for the code card and in fact if you don't sell the code card you just you open the code card i suppose or claim it for yourself uh yes this is against tos but you know these guys are selling for five dollars a pop which is oh i know this is a team up one um let's see team up actually uh i'm not sure if they show up as team up maybe they do uh but either way some of these directories are still going for four dollars on uh on ebay and this is the digital version and you know you get four of them for the with the code card Let's move on to Sword and Shield. Not too much to discuss here. Zacian still around 60. Again, it was up from like 40, uh, which is funny because it was around 40, events ended, and then it went up. So this is just a collector's piece at this point. And uh, yeah, full art Marnie over <laughs> Rainbow Marnie. So full art supporters are the way to go. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of Rainbow. And uh, yeah, people seem to agree. Although Charizard, or the Snorlax, I guess is does kind of uh, go against that logic and Zacian in general uh, this is for sword and shield ten dollars we did have those tins so the price should be pretty low at this point let's see metal saucer so around when these were 10 I said these were a pretty good buy I still uh, actually I'm not sure about 16 but um, assuming that these things don't ever see a reprint in fact probably the secret probably won't um, I think this is just one of those cards that will be useful forever and expanded uh, just uh, any of these patches I think are just useful cards and anytime there's a metal deck will probably include these all right so we're moving on to the legends we did an episode where we picked up raw copies and basically all these so like the next handful of listing uh, tabs are TCG player for the legends cards and basically I would check these every day and for a while you could pick up near mints uh, ones for like $15 and since I don't know last couple weeks or so it's basically doubled in price so we're gonna take a look at those maybe there's been some kind of buyout uh, I do want to say one thing as far as like the potential for these cards I, I'm not sure if I would consider these vintage cards so these are from like 2010 um, so it's old 10 years old but you know definitely not nearly as old as you know anything Watsi related uh, so it's kind of uh, you know I guess right in the middle it's a middle mid mid age <laughs> I don't know midlife of the Pokemon um, TCG the T Pokemon franchise so but for the Lugia uh, we'll basically take a look and so we're just sorting for near mints uh, light play TCG player sometimes uh, you know actually it's it's all over the place sometimes you buy a near mint like oh actually this or a light play and it's like actually this could be considered near mint for far more likely it's actually the other way where this near mint's pretty close to light play and light play is pretty close to mod play especially if you're from a collector's point of view but the Lugia bottom so in case you didn't know there's basically two cards and they they form one picture uh, Lugia bottom for 30 and again you know not too long ago a few weeks ago these were probably like half the price but all the near mint ones are essentially gone the only one is from this J blue store with zero percent feedback and two sales so uh, yeah and again we're just sorting for the near mints and basically I want to compare this to um, all right I think a lot of these were picked up at the 20 15 to 20 dollar range and if you were to grade these for 9 and 10 what are those kind of going for and um, you know and what happened based on that and actually just to make things a little bit more interesting we'll actually check off light play as well and there's still nothing on TCG player so it seems like all the Lugias are bought up except for one from a questionable sell or a seller that has not much history uh ho bond, which basically you're just looking at his feet twenty dollars okay so there's still twenty dollar ho-os 
for the bottom and they are near mint or there's one and then they quickly move up in price definitely the less popular of the two i imagine this one is more expensive yeah 40 dollars for near mint and that's it uh oh wait let me just refresh some tabs all right yeah so for the top um, including light play. Oh wow, same price. So even light play does not make the price go lower for the Ho-Oh top. And so these things are getting pretty expensive. Again, these are not that old. Uh, we're looking around the 2010 era. All right, Ra Raiko and Suikun. So then you have all the legendary dogs or cats and light play 25 and again these were probably like in the teen like 15 to 20 uh not too long ago so it does seem like a lot of these were gobbled up by someone uh then the bottom eh, this is actually not too bad but there's only one available before we move up to near mint for that 25 uh let's see Suikun Ente, very similar story so it seems like for the legendary dogs is about 25 for near mints, let's see, we got 20, oh, actually 35 uh, for this Raiko Suikun, 40, and oh my gosh, there's not even any near mint, we're up to four, uh, 40 for the Suikun Ente, Ente Raiko, it's, these things get kind of confusing because basically they have, there's three of them for each combination of two, there's a card, um, Kyogre Groudon, which is actually a pretty cool one in my opinion, 30 for light play in slash near mints. I should just see, and the thing is like, these are, I'm not gonna say that they're, let's just say they don't have a lot of sales history to go off of, and compared to, I, I feel like I have a lot of good experience with Yeti games, uh, they have tons of sales and everything is always in really good conditions where I feel like you're basically taking out a little bit more of a risk by purchasing from these, um, you know, sellers with less uh, history. And let's just keep going, kind of right on top, um, yeah, still like all these uh, stores, never, none of them have over a thousand sales. Uh, Rayquaza Deoxys, I feel like this one has a lot of potential. Two very cool Pokemon, $30, I feel like it's not too bad. Oh, it's this Diabetes again. But yeah, no, nothing available, no sellers with a thousand sales or more within Near Mint or Light Play on TCG Player. And then the top, the one with Rayquaza. Uh, okay, so we have a single light play for Overdose Gaming with 50,000 plus sales. All right, oh, actually, there's one more. Dark Ride Cresselia, near mint $50. Yikes. That is pretty expensive. But yeah, my, my point here is I do feel like these were basically all bought up not too long ago. Oh, Palkia Dialga, there's still one more. There's a lot of these, as you can tell. All right, but yeah, mid-20s and up. All right, let's just see what could these go for on eBay for PSA 10. So the important thing is here, some of these prices are actually sold for pretty high. Uh, some of them are, all right, that seems, maybe that's realistic for a 2010 card. Um, but I think the important thing is that there's not too many sold. Um, so, you know, the reason I look at these is I wonder if this is one of those like sets of cards where it's like, oh, I wish I bought those, you know, X years ago when it was $20 and you could pick up a near mint to possibly get a PSA 10. Uh, so basically that's what I'm looking at in this lens. And, you know, there are not too many, there's not a lot of demand, not too much supply. So it's kind of like a very un undeveloped kind of like maybe it's like a very niche market kind of thing but if we go do look through these and some of these are for pretty high i think just because they're so low supply and the psa 10 palkia de alga 125 best offer accepted off of 99 and then but then you know not too long ago these were going for 50 dollars which when you think about it like even at the price now it's like 25 dollars and then if you do get 10 like doubles like that, that kind of makes sense to me. Um, but there is some opportunity here where these there is some demand for some of the, the PSA 10s at this point. Uh, now when we get closer to June. All right, let's see, Undaunted. Uh, there's a single one for about 160. But as you can see, not too many sold at all for any of them. Uh, wow, Suikun Ente, 500, that is really expensive. But then I think as we scroll, actually no, maybe there's uh, the the legendary dogs maybe there's actually quite a bit of demand for these guys all right let's go to pokemonprice.com just to see i'm actually more curious about i guess the historical sales uh, but then also the psa pop report 
uh, which again, we can get from PSA but as well, but this gives us a nice way to see the prices. Uh, it is a little bit out of date. So one thing I don't really understand, if anyone can explain this to me, let me know in a comment. The Ho-Oh, basically there are two entries for the Ho-Oh. Uh, wait, is there three? There's five. So there's three 112s, and I couldn't tell you what the difference between them. Uh, two of them do have no sales. Let's just take a look at this one and just take a, get an idea of what the pop report is. But yeah, very few. Actually, this is a bad example. Let's take a look at Lugia because there's only one listing for each of them. And let's see how many were graded in general. And yes, this is this is another thing why I think that this is a pretty cool card to pick up, especially if you can, you know, find a good price for it, is this is pretty undergraded in my opinion now that i'm sure there's a lot of raw copies out there but if you can pick them up near mint i imagine there are not too many of those and only 22 tens 59 eight so that kind of explains where if the demand were to go up and to be honest like in that you know uh 2010 era like the, you have the primes but i do think that these are cards are pretty good for collectors uh you know has that unique feature of you combine two arts to form one um and they're of the legendary Pokemon. And, but yeah, and you know, not very great. Again, as of June 6, only 22 tens and 58 nines for Lugia top. Bottom, oh my gosh, only nine tens for the actual Lugia face. And let's just take a look at the sales. So yeah, very few data points here. Yes, sir, those 110 that was sold uh, back in 2018 for $420. And then a nine sold in May for 134 so just not a lot of this around all right let's take a look at the legendary dogs um let's just grab take a look at the more the ones with the most recent sold and we'll kind of like just look at the pop report again like these data points they're kind of all over all over the place just because there weren't too many and you know this is I think that this spike from you know 70 which again with the prices right now let's say you pay $25 and you get a 10 uh, so let's say $35 after grading and I guess there's some shipping in there too and then it's going for 75 that kind of makes sense to me um, actually I'm not sure about how hard it is to grade and then this spike to 300 I imagine this is just a collector that really wanted this part of their collection um, but there's just very little supply but I'm not sure how much demand there is for it. But either way, the PSA 10 pop report as of June 6, down to 12, 83 nines. Ooh, actually, uh, Suikun Ente top, not too bad. 38, followed by 63. And actually, it seems like the bottom tends to be the harder one to grade. 11 versus 74. And actually, that's all, all we picked for that one. Let's take a oh, Rayquaza Deoxys. I feel like there's a lot of potential here. Sure, we'll take a look at Kyogre Groudon. Oh, but we got that thing again where there's two listings for each of them. So let's just take a look at Rayquaza um, Deoxys. Only 14 tens for the top. Eight followed by 82. And yeah, I'm not sure what to derive. But actually, you know, the PSA 10 sales never really went below $100. And then only 16 for the bottom. So yeah, I feel like there's a lot of potential here. And let's just go to the last set. Let's see. Oh, uh, no too, no crazy high price. Okay, so this extra one is for the jumbo. At least that's pretty clear what's going on. We'll just select all these real quick and take a look. All right, so significantly more of these for the tens and nines. So 200 across nine, nine and 10. Uh, so should be a good amount more of these in circulation and yeah the, the price graph kind of reflects that uh similar story here and then the last one palkia dialga um i guess one interesting thing here is like it maybe it's not too hard to grade more tens than nines and uh, lastly okay but the the bottom actually this is interesting because this this one seems to be the lower in price because i don't even know what we're looking at was this like dialga's toes or something um but this one is a little bit harder to grade as compared, or the ratio between 10 and nine is not very favorable for the tens. Uh, however, I bet the prices aren't too bad. Yeah, actually, these these ones from this last set uh, don't see too many sold. Actually, there's no tens. Even the 10 was only for 70. Um, so I feel like the, kind of like the go-to ones for me would obviously be like the Lugia, then the um, Deoxys Rayquaza. If you can find those for like, definitely like less than 20 for potentially near mint. I think those are good things to pick up, uh, get them graded and you kind of have something that is, you know, very low pop.
and very cool, very unique kind of mechanic. Uh, they're legendaries. Um, and that's just an example of one thing that basically I check every day uh, to see if there's anything good to be had. Um, all right, that's going to be it for today. As always, let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any suggestions on future topics, I say this a lot, but I do want to do more episodes of, or do episodes of this more frequently. It's just about kind of like having different topics to talk about. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in a comment down below. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Wanted Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.